So after really learning everything about photography and making a career out of it on Canon cameras, I've sold all my Canon gear and I've bought Sony a7 IV. I sold not only my Canon EOS R, but I sold my EF lenses, my beloved 24 to 70, my Blackmagic pocket camera that had an EF mount on it with a speed booster, Lumix GH5 and something like that. I basically sold everything. And it was for the same reason I bought the Sony FX3, was simplifying my workflow and really coming to terms with the way I want to shoot, which is either solo or in small teams. I'm not shooting giant productions with red cameras. And if I need to do that, just rent the camera. So while yes, I'm definitely more comfortable editing Canon raw images, I'm sure I'll get used to the Sony ones. And the Sony a7 IV is solving a lot more problems than it's creating. It acts as a great B cam or BTS camera to the FX3. And with a flick of a switch, it's an amazing stills camera. And losing the ability to capture Blackmagic raw footage is a bit of a bummer. That footage doesn't really compare to the FX3. It's a lot better than the FX3. But is that difference perceivable? by the audience or my client. And so I decided, you know what? I don't even want to have the black magic as an option anymore. And that was the key here. I don't want to every single time have to make a decision. Am I going to shoot raw or am I not? And so I thought, you know what? Got to get rid of it. Eliminate that decision. a video or taking a photo or cooking something or really doing anything for that matter it's just each thing you create is an aggregate of all the decisions that you've made and some of those decisions are really annoying little ones that are recurring and especially when you're flying solo there are a lot of tiny little decisions and it's easy to get distracted and focus on those like which top handle am I gonna use on my cage today so getting the Sony and more importantly getting rid of all my other gear was this one decision that helped eliminate a bunch of annoying, recurring, tiny decisions that's really helped sort of clear mental space for whenever I'm making a video. So if you are struggling or maybe sometimes don't even realize that there's all these little decisions that you have to make every time when are getting in the way of creating, then maybe like me, you can eliminate a bunch of those annoying decisions by making one or two bigger, bolder decisions, like getting rid of I know there are many reviews on the internet already, but if you want a review of the A7 IV, let me know in the comments. Okay, have a good one. Okay.